Hello there everybody, I'm Daryl Griffiths. Welcome to my latest video review for Movie Market. I hope you've all been very well. Today I'll be tackling one of my most anticipated of 2018. It is the film adaptation of the Becky Albertalli book, Simon Visits the Homo Sapien Agenda. It is of course, Love, Simon. It stars Nick Robinson in the lead role, alongside Catherine Langford of 13 Reasons Why, Jennifer Garner and Josh Duhamel. It is a real watershed moment for Hollywood, as it is the first mainstream film with a gay protagonist at the forefront of its narrative that is getting a saturation release and pretty much getting into every cinema going with so props to 20th Century Fox for backing this. Uh, the film, now we've had films with slightly greater releases than many LGBT films do get. Uh, I can think of three off the top of my head from the 90s, showing my age. Um, In and Out, starring Kevin Klein, he was a teacher who was outed at the Academy Awards by a fellow student, a younger Matt Dillon. There was Two Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar, which starred Patrick Swayze, Wesley Snipes and John Leguizamo as drag queens, and my beloved favourite, The Birdcage, directed by the late Mike Nichols, who stars... Robin Williams and Nathan Lane, who had to play it straight uh, for the sake of their son, who was getting married. And um, this film, Love Simon, is a really deeply cathartic film for me on a personal level, and undoubtedly will be for a lot of people. Whether it's the teenage demographic that it's clearly going for, but I genuinely think it's going to. Uh, steal the hearts of many of the older generation as well in seeing such representation on screen which has so often been so restricted or marginalized or we've often been the butt of a joke in an ensemble piece and to see us you know celebrate inclusion and ultimately get a happy ending which you rarely do get through the marketing i think uh, 20th century fox have really tried to promote that through everything that they've put out there uh, before the film was released and normally I, I get the impression that a lot of people normally take notice of LGBT theme films if they're quite tragic in nature or they're not very overt in their homosexuality or queerness which I know is a word that some people aren't I think there's more of an embracing of the word queer in the community but i know it still carries a lot of negative connotations for people and i certainly understand that especially from a young age and being called that as many other people have and fag and puff and we could we could be here all day uh with the unimaginative unimaginative insults uh that we got through our teenage years and probably still do get unfortunately um love simon the plot line of the film simon spear He's a closeted gay kid in the middle of high school. He is trying to come to terms with his sexuality. He has a great social circle um, and a lot of backing from friends. But he finds do a dialogue through an online alias uh, called Blue. And they find common ground in the fact that he, this person is struggling to come to terms with his sexuality as well. And trying to come out to his parents. And they work each each other through their issues and their own hang-ups about coming out uh, whether it's to their parents or their friends etc um, but will Simon be left feeling blue by the circumstances that he does indeed end up coming out to ultimately now the film it's beautifully observed it's sincere it's heartfelt it's ultimately very hopeful uh, director Greg Belanti who has been behind the likes of Dawson's Creek and another big favourite of mine, Brothers and Sisters. Um, a terrific show, if you haven't seen it, stars Sally Field, who is, you know, a screen queen. So, highly recommend if you haven't checked it out. Um, he, there's not much gloss to the film. It's very broad in its narrative strokes, which was inevitable because it's trying, it's a mainstream film, it's trying to appeal to the masses and create that dialogue for people who are probably not familiar with such stories. Um, and if it's highlighting such issues in such a heartfelt way, then we're all for it. And But it doesn't um, be restricted in its sexuality as well. There's a wonderful dance number set to a Whitney Houston classic. Who doesn't love that? Um, and just the issues that Simon deals with. It's going to be a deeply cathartic film for people. It certainly was for me. And for a film like this, it's hard not to tap in everything that I 
went through as a teenager and the insult that I had and the own, you know, bottling up all my feelings that, like, uni was difficult, particularly. Like, I think a lot of friends sort of had an inkling that I was gay and I, there was a, a very tricky situation that I got myself into. I sort of made out that I had feelings for a, uh, a girl and I was sort of more fussed about the guy that she was with and he was a long-term friend of mine and it was all very messed up and I nearly lost a lot of friends because of it and it's only in the last couple of years that maybe I've found common ground with a lot of these people again and I'm very grateful uh, for that um, and from a familial standpoint I think my mum sort of cottoned on that I was gay very early on I, there was a mishap uh, with my emails when I was like 19 20 and I was obviously talking to somebody online and she needed to use my email address she didn't have an email account at the time and um, she accidentally uh, tapped into my sent messages which you know was an awkward situation and I didn't fully deny my sexuality at the time but I just didn't know how to articulate it at all and I didn't come out as gay to a soul properly and find the strength to do it until I was 24 and it, it's a gradual process and there's no doubt about it I think people take for granted uh, that when you do come out mentally it's a weight sort of lifts but there's still a lot of issues underlying and I think the, the great thing about Love, Simon is that it deals with that it, there's not like a complete 360 in terms of Simon's character which is beautifully captured by Nick Robinson who I've been a fan of his previous performances but he's just terrific here and I think he's going to steal a lot of hearts uh, through it, through the film uh, there's great support particularly from the parents of the piece Jennifer Garner and Joshua Hamill the two sequences that they share with Robinson's Simon there were it really draw a lot drew a lot of tears from me and my fellow friends who watched it with me on Monday when I saw the film it's just gonna I just it's gonna be so inspiring to see how this film goes down and it's already made its budget back in America which is wonderful to see because at the end of the day as much as it pains me some people may deem this film a risk having a wide release it, because coming of age films are such a it's such a well-worn genre and to and it's quite for many people this will just be another conventional conventional narrative but for to see such representation on screen and appealing to the masses uh, without shying away from its sexuality and the issues that it tackles i really hope love simon goes down a storm on these shores as well i think it is such a wonderful film it's just so hopeful it's positive it's inclusive and it, it i just i can't praise it enough really i just think it's gonna be a real watershed moment and it deserves to be and if people support this in the masses when it comes out on the 6th of april hopefully hollywood take hollywood will take notice and there's such an argument about diversity and representation right now within the industry and it needs to be highlighted we are sick to death of seeing films lgbt themed films be restricted on the festival circuit and such wonderful filmmakers wonderful talents living their truth and you know ex expanding it and showing it off to the world and they damn well deserve to and if love simon and many other films following this inspire that then i am all for it and i can only salute 20th century fox for taking a chance on it and it's just a wonderful film i really hope that you enjoy love simon as much as i did and find a common thread within the film because it's gonna it's gonna you know it's an emotional experience it's deeply cathartic but i truly feel the replay value on this is going to be plentiful it's an instant
coming of age and coming out classy. It really is. Uh, so that is a wrap on my review of Love, Simon. I hope I haven't waffled too much uh, and I hope you've enjoyed the review. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel below. That would be much appreciated. And of course, you can check out my reviews on Movie Marker, uh, www.moviemarker.co.uk. You can follow us on Twitter at Movie Marker. And of course, you can like our Facebook page uh, entitled Movie Marker. Uh, but that is a wrap for today. I've been Daryl Griffiths. Uh, my next review... Hopefully, it might be Blockers, starring John Cena, uh, his latest comedy, which is out this weekend. Uh, so hopefully you can check us out for that. Uh, but that is a wrap, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and bye for now.